Hi there. In this video, we're going to look at how you can use Google Slides uh, along with the Creator Studio add-on to make your own simple GIFs. And the reason that I'm going to be doing this one is really to have the option of having a movable GIF appearing on your website, in your Google Classroom, maybe at the top of a Google Form, um, maybe just embedded within a slide, however you want to do it really. And I'm going to use it specifically for sharing social media pages. So let's jump in and get started. So I'm here in Google Slides and I've already created my template, which is a, a 1600 by 400 pixel. And that's ideal for the tops of Google Forms, for um, Google Site Headers, for Google Classroom Headers, but also handy and nice to fit into a Google Site anywhere you like, uh, and just a general nice shape. And I've got here a page for Twitter, for YouTube, for Web, and for Facebook. And what I'm going to do is just share on here the different addresses of my social media. I'm just gonna add a text box here and I'm gonna start off with Twitter, obviously. And I'm just gonna take my Twitter address there and drop it in here and then just resize it and play around with the colorings a little bit. So I'm gonna have that as white, I'm gonna have it as bold and you can go incrementally now in Google Slides, or you can use Command or Control, Shift, and the plus button to just size up to a size that you're happy with. Um, so I think I'll stick with that about there. Uh, you can then, if you need to, just tweak to make sure everything's lined up as you want it to. So there's my Twitter address. Then I'm gonna go to YouTube and do the same. So I'm just gonna copy the address from YouTube. Come back to my slide. Again, I could just copy and paste the previous one and add this in, but I'm going to do it this way um, just to show you again. So again, I'm going to change the color to white because of the background. I'm going to add the text. It's coming as a link, but this is going to be a GIF, so I'm going to break that link. And I'm just going to recolor and resize. Again, we'll go bold. Uh, let's just jump to sort of 24. Yeah, need to be much bigger than that. So again, so Control or Command, Shift and the greater than button will allow you to increase things. And I'm not going to worry about the HTTPS at the beginning, so I can take that off. And again, I can just tweak it so that it's in line. Uh, and this time I'm going to do it the way I've done it here. So I'm just going to copy that box, bring it over here onto the website one. And this time I'm gonna to go to my website and get the address for that. Command C, using the shortcut and then Command V. And what I'm gonna do this time, again, I'm gonna keep it as white. Um, I do want to break that link. So break the link first, then change your text color. Uh, and then we're gonna bold, yep and increase the size there to one that we're happy with. And obviously it wouldn't necessarily be exactly the same size for each page because it depends on the length of the address. Uh, I'm gonna go a little bit bigger with this one just because we can afford to. So that's the home page of my website and just drop that down so it's in line with the W's. And then finally for Facebook, just go back and do it the other way again, put in your text box and I've got this group that I work with, which is school staff using G Suite. That's the name of it. So I'm just gonna copy that because the group name is probably more important. That's not gonna be very easy to remember or type. So school staff using G Suite. I'm gonna drop that in here. And again, uh, because that's just text, it's not hyperlinked. But again, I'm gonna use the white and let's jump jump to 40. Uh, not quite there, so let's go a little bit bigger. Okay, so now we've got our four slides. Twitter, uh, YouTube, website, and Facebook. So now I can come up to add-ons, and you can see I've got Creator Studio here. 
And you can just go and add that when uh, from Get Add-ons. And you've got the option here, several options, slide, cast, video, and GIF. And I'm going to create a GIF. It starts working on the side over here. You can choose your output width. So I'm going to choose 600. You can have any interval up to four, including partials. So I'm going to say 3.5. Okay. I want it as an animated GIF. And I just click go. And initially it looks like nothing much has happened, but you'll see here you've got the option to preview. So this is what our GIF will do. Every three and a half seconds we'll change through. Okay, so that's your preview. And to download, you just click the download button there. And occasionally you get this error. So if that happens, all you need to do, you go back to your preview and just click the download button from there. If you do get the error, don't worry about it. And then it's downloaded and you can embed that document into a Google Slide, a Google Sites, Google Classroom, Google Forms, whatever you want to do. Okay, so give it a try. A really easy and simple way to use Creator Studio add-on to create your own GIFs.